In this video, I'm going to show you how to uniformly size your mask in Premiere, like this. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Alright, so you're all about the masks in Premiere, but you spend tons of time trying to resize the darn thing. Because after you created it, the default sizing option is one that only lets you modify one corner at a time. Lordy, this is tedious. So here is how you size stuff uniformly. By the way, I'm in Premiere version 22.5.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So here's my clip in the timeline, and I want to cut out this woman. So I click on the clip and go to the Effect Controls tab. And under Opacity, I click the square here. And now in the Program tab, you can see that she's cut out, but I want to make it bigger and center it. However, if I click on it and go to adjust a corner, it just manipulates that one point. And I don't want to do this. I want to stretch every corner together to make my box bigger. I want to manipulate them all at once. So Command Z to undo that on a Mac. And to make the whole box larger by stretching, hold your cursor by the corner of the box here. And you see that it turns to a curvy two arrow thing. Once you see that, simply press Shift on both a Mac and a PC, and you'll see the cursor turn to a straight double arrow. And now you can pull downward and it makes the whole box bigger at once, uniformly. Easy peasy. Now I can click in the middle and move it over a little so the woman is centered. Done and done. All right, let's do that tip. Did you know that that shift key will usually help you modify things uniformly? It will. Say you have a solid and you use the pen tool to create a mask and you want to make the mask larger. Well, it's the same process as before. Hold your cursor by the corner, see that curvy arrow? Simply press shift on both a Mac and a PC and you'll see your cursor turn to a straight double arrow. And now you can pull downward and it makes the whole shape bigger at once. And try this in other Adobe programs like Photoshop. Except in Photoshop, when you drag a corner, it already stretches uniformly, and Shift makes it non-uniform. So don't forget Shift is there when you resize. It will keep your proportions in check. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.